Hi, I'm Steve Friedman with Rockstar Excel. Today I'm going to explain to you how relative and absolute references in Excel work. This video is a bit different because it's recorded straight from my Excel Made Easy class. The black rectangle you'll see in the corner is there to cover up my students' faces. If you're watching this video when it comes out, there's a session of my Excel Made Easy class starting next week. Otherwise, check rockstarexcel.com to find out about upcoming classes. In Excel, there's two kinds of references, absolute and relative. A relative reference means that in Excel, or a formula is referring to a cell that is a certain distance away from it. For example, this one here is referring to the cell that is to the left of it uh, and saying, multiply the cell that's to the left of me by two. If I were to copy this formula and paste it here, see this one is pointing at A4, but when I copy and paste it, it's pointing at A5 because it's looking at the cell that's immediately to the left of it. And it's the same if I were to double click here and fill it down. Again, this one down here, it's going, it's looking at A23 because it's looking at the one that's immediately to the left. So that's a relative reference. Now you could also have a, an absolute reference. So an absolute reference looks at a specific cell. And if you were to copy it or fill it or drag it, it would still continue to look at that cell. So if I say is that times 10, and now if I fill this, now this is an absolute reference. If I fill this one down, it just continues to be equal to 10 because down here, it's still looking at A4 because it's an absolute reference. Is that, clear with what the difference between relative and absolute references is. Now to distinguish between a relative and an absolute reference, an absolute reference has dollar signs before the letter and the number of the cell. That's how Excel knows whether you're putting in an absolute or relative reference. And you could have a formula that has absolute and relative references together. So say we have, let's go here and say we have equals that times that. So now what this formula is saying is look at the cell that's two to the left of me and then multiply it by what's in B2. And if we were to change B2 and make that nine, then all of these are going to change because the value in B2 has changed. Now, one thing to keep in mind about absolute references is that they are pointing at a specific cell, but if you move that cell, the reference will update to keep pointing at. So if I were to insert three columns here, then this formula has updated now. So now it's pointing at cell E2. So it's continuing to, it, Excel is smart enough to realize that you have moved the cell that it's pointing at and it will continue to point at that cell. So that, that is very useful that you don't have to worry about breaking your formulas if you insert a new row or column. It also works if you were to just click on this on the green box and move it around somewhere, the formula will update. So now it's pointing at D31 because that's where we move what it's pointing at. Now to put in an absolute formula, there's a keyboard shortcut for this. So you don't have to actually type out the dollar signs. So after you click on the cell 
to tell Excel where you are pointing your formula, you hit F4 or Command T on the Mac, and that will add the dollar signs to tell Excel it's an absolute reference. That was a quick overview of absolute and relative references. Watch for part two of this video in a few days, explaining how you can mix absolute and relative references to create large, powerful spreadsheets extremely quickly. As I said before, this was recorded straight from my Excel Made Easy class. The Excel Made Easy class is designed to help you master Excel in just four weekly two-hour sessions without ever having to learn anything hard. If you understood this video, you'll have no trouble with the class. And even if you found this video challenging, the class is taught live online, so I'm there to answer any questions and hold your hand through any struggles. This is the class to take if you want to get a better job, improve your productivity, or save loads of time. I guarantee you'll learn enough to save five hours a week or your money back. In fact, I offer a full refund to anyone who's dissatisfied for any reason. So check out the Excel Made Easy class at rockstarexcel.com. And as always, please like and subscribe and stay tuned so I can help make you an Excel rockstar.